The time is 1.35 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time, May 23rd, 2019, and it appears that a very strong tornado has struck Jefferson City, Missouri. Now, while I've been tracking this all evening, I wanted to give a brief radar overview of the situation that we saw in earlier scans using a two-panel CC and SRV view from the uh, GR2 analyst radar software. So we initially see where the lowered values of CC were over here after a spotter report of a confirmed tornado, Cole County, Missouri, four miles west southwest of the actual city, and this occurred at about 440Z. There was a tornado on the ground at this time, and it was obvious, but beam elevation at this point is over 6,700 feet above ground level. So we didn't get the whole story of what's going on at the very lowest levels, but we saw enough. So we saw that the tornado was over here, correlated with a, uh, whoops, that didn't go right, with an SRV TBS just to the southwest of the city. In the next frame, a tornado report comes in of extensive damage five minutes later at 445Z, and we see the values of CC are dropping, which indicates likely more debris lofted by the tornado. It's attained in populated areas. In the next frame, we see a horrific amount of low CC values getting into the lower end of the spectrum, going right through central and southern Jefferson City. And again, this does not, the SRV image is not clear due to the beam elevation, but we see enough of it. And then it continues to go onto the east side of the city and finally moves away from the city but debris at this point was likely scattering it was a large tornado but at this point debris was scattering uh, you get a little better view of the TVS here from the strong tornado that was impacting the area just a little bit ago and we're gonna look we're gonna change the CC to Look at. Oh, we can't do that. Okay, never mind. But we're looking at the correlation coefficient values that dropped around the time the tornado was impacting this area on the southern side of Jefferson City in particular and central, and then spreading into the eastern parts and the correlated TVS that was also impacting the city. Of course, this is at an elevated beam angle. Normalized rotation was, at the time, not showing up prominently because the beam elevation was making for a messy image. And now we're going to be looking at the uh, base reflectivity as the cell came into the city. I'll change this over here to uh, CC so we can uh, correlate the dang it in this image here which will be clearer in a moment we're seeing a broader uh, supercell structure and again it's not clear just because of the distance from the radar but we are seeing a few key features which I will uh, better illustrate here now that this is clear. At this point in the supercell, we see lowered reflectivity values, which indicates the updraft region of a supercell thunderstorm coming into the area. This feature I find very interesting, and I'm not sure if it was potentially an inflow feature developing in association with the. Supercell for his part of the mesocyclone. We see here, this is about where the debris ball is located in the CC image. 
the very end of the hook echo where the strongest updraft was where a tornado was located some went through the city a very clear even for this distance a very clear hooking structure where the rear flank downdraft of the storm would wrap around this end and the uh, inflow was coming into uh, this side also note that this region leading into the weak echo region the updraft is relatively free of precipitation which indicates the presence of a strong convective updraft This has been a brief radar review of the Jefferson City tornado in a very, very dangerous situation. These people will need support.